Does fidget factor even matter? How's it going, everybody? I'm Rolshambeau, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. And I got to know. I got to know because there's been a discussion in the knife community recently about whether or not fidget factor is even important on a knife. Now, if you've seen my grail or garbage videos, you might already know my opinion, but it's not about my opinion because I'm asking you. Head on down to the comments section. Let me know. Do you think fidget factor on a knife is important? And if so, why? And if not, why not? Today we're talking shop on the Wee Curvaceous, a knife designed by Eric Oaks, and I think I'm saying that correctly, and manufactured by Wee Knife Company. Now, I've gotten a few Wee knives on the channel, and so far they've all been pretty dang good. Uh, Wee Knives is known for some of the best fit and finish, some of the best production to come out of China and on the most frequent basis. And they nail it at all price ranges. And there's some heavy hitters in China as far as knife production is concerned. So when this was suggested to me as a knife that I should check out, I reached out to my friends over at White Mountain Knives, shout out to White Mountain Knives, and they agreed to send me one so that I could tell you, the good people, what's good. And it's time that we talk about it. This is the we knife company curvaceous let's get into it this is the we curvaceous if you like this knife and you decide that you want to pick one up for yourself and any of the 10 million specs available for it uh, feel free to use the link in the description below and use rsb10 for 10 percent off your order I think it also comes with free shipping. Yeehaw. So I requested this one for review because this is one that an audience member told me they really wanted to check out. And this is not one that I would have nor normally checked out just because of my own personal preferences. And I'll tell you why. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the shape of the handle scales and it has one deployment option, which is a flipper tap. Now, given the option, flipper tab only is not what I would typically go for. It's not that I hate flipper tabs. Uh, I actually do like having them, but I like having them as a secondary option. At the very least, I want thumb studs or a thumb finger deployment cutout um, or a front flipper. That works too. If you can do both a front and a rear, even better. However, when people tell me I need to check out a knife, it creates the situation where I want to find out why they're so interested in it. So let's talk about that today. Here are the specs. Titanium G10 with 20 CV on the blade, flipper tab, milled titanium pocket clip, milled titanium backspacer. You can get this in carbon fiber, and I'm willing to bet that that is the version that most people would go for. The Jade Titanium or natural, or excuse me, the Jade G10 is going to be a good option for people who like to writ dye their knives and really customize them. Uh, if I were keeping this knife, I would writ dye this purple and I think that would look absolutely phenomenal. The blade is bead blasted, so it has this really nice matte, smooth, it's matte, but it's also kind of glossy finish. There isn't any billboarding on the show side of the blade. Hallelujah. It's like knife makers and manufacturers are starting to realize that we don't want it there. You do get the Wii, uh, the Wii logo on that single-sided captive pivot. I'm okay with that. I like the Wii knife logo. On the other side, you, the pivot does have, uh, it's kind of like a brass it's it's kind of like matching brass hardware, okay? Uh, now, you do get a tiny bit of billboarding. You'll see the designer's name. The designer is Eric Oaks. Eric Oaks makes some really good knives. And in this one, even though he didn't make this one, he did design it, and we delivered on that. The fit and finish on this knife is phenomenal. Something that surprised me is just how good this knife feels in the hand. And listen, I love jimping. I usually prefer jimping on the spine of the blade so that when I do a saber grip, I've got good lock in. In this case, this one does not have it. And I'm actually okay with that because the rest of the ergos are so good. 
Uh, the way that these handle scales are shaped with that index groove right there, right before the flipper tab, uh, this is solid. I can squeeze this as hard as I want. There is no hot spots, and that flipper tab acts like a guard. The blade shape is what is called a Persian or a trailing point blade shape, and it looks good. You've got a nice deep hollow grind right here, and the knife feels like it's going to be really good at slicing. The pocket clip is a milled titanium pocket clip, and because of how it's shaped to curve up with the handle scales, but it's coming from the middle or rather the bottom, it does disappear in the hand, and you don't you don't feel it at all. You don't feel it at all. That's great. These ergos are absolutely phenomenal, and despite the trailing point blade looking something a, a bit fantasy fiction level. Uh, it does actually have a really good user-friendly feel to it. I could see someone using this to, you know, skin an animal or to, you know, cut open something. And it just feels like it's meant to be used. Now, for those of you who like lanyards, you can put a lanyard on here for your doodads. It has a backspacer that keeps me nice and happy. It fits well in the hand. It's on the larger side, but it's not super large. When I hear curvaceous, I think of a, I, I can't help it. I, I think of a curvy lady. And this one is definitely a curvy lady of the knife world. I don't like the way that the back end of this handle scale looks, but I can live with it because it creates such a good lock-in. Full four finger grip. If I go ahead and reverse it, does it still feel good? Surprisingly, yes. Surprisingly, yes. It's like it was meant to be put in your hand. Imagine that. Next, let's talk about the action. Now, obviously, it is running on ceramic bearings, and the action is really good. You see how smooth that is? The action is perfection, okay? Uh, they did a number on the action with this knife. And, and listen, not all ceramic bearing actions are created equal. I've felt plenty of knives that have ceramic bearings that just do not do it any kind of justice whatsoever. This one is extremely smooth. The blade has a little bit of weight to it, and it means that, you know what, it's going to glide shut. It's halfway between hydraulic and guillotine, and I love that. I think that that is phenomenal. And whether or not you like JG10, it doesn't matter because you can get this in carbon fiber and titanium. And that's probably the one that I would go for if I was buying this for myself. Such a cool knife. And I'm really happy that this was suggested to me to check out because it does feel premium. I know G10 is not typically what you want on a knife in this price range. And if you didn't know, this is what it costs. But it is essentially a titanium frame lock with G10 bolsters or with carbon fiber bolsters. And that's okay. Th this knife feels as good as, this knife feels like it's price tag. There's so many knives that I look at that cost that amount, but they don't feel like they should cost that much. This one, you really do have to feel it in hand. It's a thing of beauty. I think that you could do a hell of a lot worse for the money. And I, for one, am looking forward to ranking this knife. We're going to hit that action one more time. It's so good. Uh, one suggestion, if Eric Oaks ever happens to watch this video, you had enough cutout right here where you could have put a fuller or some sort of deployment slot or hole. That would have made this knife the best. Seriously, you missed out. We had an opportunity with that space right there and, it, and it, we missed it. A fuller running down that disappeared into the, the handle scales would be perfectly fine. Um, a deployment hole would probably make more sense design wise. Um, but let me know in the comment section, do you, do you agree with me? Do you think that this knife should have had a deployment hole? That's what I'm going with. Guys, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, boohoo, there's a button for you too. And if you want to see more videos just like this, if you watched this far, consider hitting subscribe. I'm Roll Shambo. I'll catch you on the flip side.